Exactly. Well, I love the word you said there, which is partner. We, we truly believe we are partners with our schools and our clients, and we work very closely with them. Their initiatives and the things that they care about to provide to their students are what we care about. And um, we take great pride in, in having that close partnership with our clients. So as they have things that they need to see, then we can help them innovate. And working together is only the best way to provide something greater for, for those people. Welcome to Business Ninjas, brought to you by Write For Me, where you'll hear from business leaders who are out there growing their business and slaying it every day. Learn from the masters. Let's get started. Hey, everybody. Welcome back for another episode of Business Ninjas. I'm here today with Rashid Beruznia. He's the Senior Vice President and General Manager at Transact Campus. Rashid, welcome to the show. Elsie, thank you so much for having me. Very excited to be here. Very excited to have you. So, Rashid, why don't you start and tell us a little bit about yourself? Well, I live in San Diego. My wife and I here, we raised three amazing children. Um, actually came to San Diego. Uh, I came to University of San Diego to study. Uh, majored in electrical engineering and, and computer science. Um, so early on, sort of migrated my career, sort of writing software application for Lockheed Martin a lot of army programs and, and defense programs. Um, got to lead a team of engineers throughout my time at Lockheed. And after that, switched over into a new domain. So moved over into transit. So literally providing public transit solutions for some very big agencies across uh, North America. I ran our, I was vice president of engineering for our North America engineering team. Um, later on, did did some product delivery as well for for that company, and now um, have the pleasure of working for Transact and and run one of our businesses here for 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 that company. That's fantastic. So it sounds like you've had a really interesting you know kind of journey leading you to Transact. Now, tell me a little bit more about Transact's campus. Yeah, Transact is is it's a lot of fun. We get to provide um, hardware, software, and integrated solutions predominantly for higher ed. Our solutions help um, campuses provide efficient solutions to for students. Um, we're very focused on on mobile for, mo mobile first and mobile centric offerings. Um, we have a very uh, integrated portfolio. Think of any use case on campus, whether it's going to football game, library, dorm rooms, paying for meals, vending machines, all of those integrated solutions. Um, we provide software and hardware integrated solutions for that. So it, it's a very fun market because it's it's very high pace. Um, you get to provide solutions to um, a very motivated uh, user population of, of college age kids. So it's it's a, a lot of fun. That's really interesting. And, you know, when you're talking a little bit about the solutions, like you said, think of anything on campus. Correct me if I'm wrong, but there's kind of three different areas of the solutions to kind of talking about like yeah. those payments, like you said, and then IDs and commerce. So talk to me a little bit more about kind of each one of those those three different areas. Transact has three major business lines. We have our payments business line. Like you were saying, this is everything from paying for tuition, cash collection, international payments, anything you could think of around what um, an, a higher ed school needs to do for allowing students to pay open loop credit card, cash collection, checks, international payments, that whole solution piece. Um, we have a full breadth of payment technologies to help solve that problem. And, and payments businesses is one of our major businesses. Um, commerce. So you can think of things like point of sale terminals, mobile ordering on campus. So students can literally use our application to um, order their food ahead of time and then go pick it up. So it saves them time throughout their day. Um, all that, you know, kitchen displays, order management, that whole facility around commerce and um, and how that integrates on a campus. That's, a, that's another one of our businesses. That's our commerce business. And then campus ID. And that I'm general manager for our campus ID business. And the way that I like to describe campus ID is it's everything that's not payment and, and commerce. Um, but another way to think of it is um, one of the major pieces for our campus is their student ID. Literally, that, that student ID that we may have gotten when we were in school 
and it has your photo. It might have uh, a barcode or, or a mag stripe on it. Um, everything that centers around that use case. And, and for us, I mean, we've taken that student ID and now it's digitized into and literally wallet on phones, so Apple wallet, Google wallet, and, and Samsung wallet. Um, but all the interactions with that student ID, whether they're paying for me meals and in, in cafeteria, they're going to a football game, they're opening up their dorm room with their phone and being able to access, um, other facilities on campus. Campus ID is about all those use cases and all the things you can do with your student ID and, and around the campus. Talk to a little bit about how the mobile ID offering has changed over the years and in what you've seen with Transact Campus. Yeah. So for, you know, I've, I've been at Transact for about three years. Fortunately, um, a little over 10 years ago, Transact made a very, um, I would say educated bet on near field communication. So, um, their ability to interact with phones that use NFC, they started building that, that technology of devices, um, interacting with third parties and creating partnerships to allow that, that NFC experience to, um, to interact and, and then working with some extremely large companies with, you know, Apple and Google and Samsung, some very large players in the market to build the technology where the student ID could get on wallet. And what we've seen is students are very excited about having that ability. I mean, literally no one leaves their home or in the case of a student, their dorm room without their phone. And now they have that in hand. So whether they're, um, and, and frankly on watch too. So whether they're going for a meal and they can just swipe their watch to pay, or they they need to, you know, go for a run and go to the rec center, they have that technology in and they don't have to carry anything separate. So we've seen the adoption of that mobile ID. It, it's, it's, it's skyrocketed. I mean, we actually, this June, we just hit 1 million mobile credential provisions. Yeah. And, and if you think about it, getting 1 million students to do something, that's a lot. It's not, it's not easy. So, um, it, it was a great mile. So we've seen the adoption of that mobile ID been very well accepted. And so you, you know, kind of talking about how I think things have trended, um, you know, we see the, the adoption rate of that has been substantially higher, um, year on year. We're seeing the schools be very excited about bringing that technology to their campus. And so, um, just the acceleration of what we see for mobile and the intersection with higher ed has been going a uh, much higher rate. 1 million. That's huge and very exciting for you. Yeah, yeah, it was that's, fun. That's, awesome. that's great. Talk to me a little bit more more about how you've been able to grow, you know, your specific division of campus ID. And and I'm also curious to pick your brain a little bit and hear if COVID affected that growth or, or you know, the 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 trajectory of, of campus ID. Yeah, we so w one of the things that has helped the business and one of the things that I'm exceptionally proud of for for Transact and Campus ID is our ability to solve all of the problems on a campus or provide solutions for all those. And one of the things that's helped our growth is bringing in additional integrations. So we've adopted an open architecture and open API platform to help integrate with lots of different solution providers on campus. And so it, it's actually, there's a lot of innovation in and around um, a university setting and having the ability to integrate those has been very, very beneficial for our business, but also for our clients. So we've seen that being um, a big growth area. Now, on you know through COVID and, and pandemic, um, higher education was certainly impacted. You know, uh, students um, not able to go and spend time on campus affected university needs and their ability to collect revenue from room and board and meals and things that they traditionally um, were able to um, to secure. And so that that definitely impacted them. One of the things that we did is we had to pivot in a few different areas, um, focusing on ways that we could help them through that transition time, and then also some additional offerings. So you know, we doubled down. We we've been very mobile centric for you know a period of years, even leading up the pandemic. But we doubled down on on going mobile um, and helped roll out some solutions that were very impactful to that time. So there was some student population that was able to be on campus or even after when they were 
you know, still pretty distant, but needed some services like, like food, our mobile ordering came to save the day. Literally having students where they could order and they didn't have to interface with someone face to face. They could go contact us, we'll pick up their food and bring that. That was, that was a great offering. Mobile credential too. So touchless. I mean, literally touching phone um, to readers or touching watch to readers to access services and, and get through doors was, was a great value. And so um, we've continued to build out our Transact One platform. This is our cloud hosted software that, that we've built out and we have new solutions that we've been implementing on top of that platform. So we're, we're really taking this mobile offering and, and our cloud offering to the next level. So we've been very focused on that. Yeah. It sounds like not only have, you know, Transact been very focused on evolving kind of their technology, but it sounds like higher education as well is also really, yeah. you know, working to focus on evolving their technology. 100%. If one, one of the things that we we did recently, and I think this meshes very well with with what um, higher ed was, was seeing, is we did a research study where we we segmented different user groups. So high school age students that would be going to college shortly. Um, college age students and then students that were just finished from from college and did a big research study around what are the ways they like to, to pay? What are the things they look for when they go to a school? What are the things that they see as challenges or opportunities? And there was a huge theme in ease of payment technologies, um, ease of uh, using your mobile in a lot of different ways on a campus. And then, and then really um, what we kind of saw was that was important to them from a school selection and enrollment. Um, so what what we've seen is that universities have saw that, higher education have seen that, and they're, you know, in some sense, they're competing with each other. And the more kind of offering that they can provide to hit on those pain points and those desires from students are very important. Another thing that was kind of fun that came out of that is, is that Gen Z population is very focused on other kinds of initiatives like sustainability, and environmental impact. And that resonated very well to them when they think about, well, why am I getting issued a plastic card? Why can't I have a digital ID? Like what, why, you know, let's save some of the plastic from even needing to be generated and ending up in landfills. And so we've seen that also play into a lot of our mobile initiatives. Um, we're helping, I think a recent um, analysis that we did, we've saved over five tons of plastic from being, yeah, in with them with our mobile ID from ending up in landfills. And so it's been a lot of fun to see how um, some of those factors have played into selection of universities. That's really interesting. It sounds like there's a lot of, you know, open conversation, um, the partnerships working with between higher ed and Transact to make sure that you're meeting the needs of the students like as best as possible, trying to stay ahead and saying, you know, this is this is the challenge that, you know, that we're hearing you say. Why don't we come up with a solution to, to, to help that? Exactly. Well, I love the word you said there, which is partner. We, we truly believe we are partners with our schools and our clients, and we work very closely with them. Their initiatives and the things that they care about to provide to their students are what we care about. And um, we take great pride in, in having that close partnership with our clients. So as they have things that they need to see, then we can help them innovate. And working together is only the best way to provide something greater for, for those people. No, I completely agree. Do you think, it, you know, one of the ways that um, Transact is able to stand out from its competition is that partnership? Talk about some other ways that you think that Transact is really able to separate itself. That's a great question. It, it's There's a lot of different factors um, that are involved. And I'll give you a few examples. So for example, our ability to take something from idea or concept to realizing that on a campus, we do, we have great pride in how fast we can get something live. And I think one of the ways that we've differentiated ourselves is our speed to get something that a campus wants to getting them live and implemented as quickly as possible. If you think about, I know we've been talking about mobile ID. I love the mobile ID, but, um, if you think about what needs to happen, there needs to be reader infrastructure laid out on a campus. So, you know, readers on dorm room doors, um, readers on, you know, library facilities, um, everywhere that you could think of that interaction, 
that needs to all get put in place. There's software, there's adoption, there's education, there's marketing around that whole process. And over the last two years consecutively, we doubled the amount of implementations that we can do year on year. Yeah. And so, you know, it's one thing to, to have an offering. It's another entirely to bring it to market. And we have focused very much on one, our speed of implementation and bringing it live to our campus, getting that as fast as possible. And then two, making sure that that user experience is optimized. So our mobile ID, um, there's an application that's, that's, um, associated with it, 4.8 stars, um, within the app store, which is, I think a good testament to it's people like it. Mm -hmm. Um, so those are some areas we have a world-class support team. So if our clients run into any challenges or things that they want to talk through or they need help, we have a dedicated support team, which I believe personally is best in the biz to help them guide through that. Our, 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 our calls are fast and effective, and we have a lot of metrics around how we do there. So we focus on all different parts of the business and make sure that we're providing level of support within the product and, and around all the things that we can do to help our client. Hmm. I really like that. You know, and again, going back to being a partner, such an important word. Um, you know, I'm glad we were able to highlight that a little bit more. But, you know, uh, Rishi, to pick your brain a little bit, do you hear, um, you know, in your role, either, you know, whether it is about transact or, you know, maybe higher education in general, any common misconceptions that people think are, you know, fast and true, which aren't necessarily accurate? That's a good question. I'd say the biggest is it's actually a very innovative space. And, you know, one of the things that I, I don't know if it's a misconception or not, but that some of the, the things that you do, um, you know, how can you incorporate lots of those new innovation areas and quickly bring that into market? I'd say um, one of the ways that, that we've focused on is making um, innovation part of the culture. So, you know, whereas, you, you know, maybe different industries or, or, or different areas um, that's not so rampant and others, maybe it's, you know, extremely fast innovation. I think higher ed actually has a, a great deal of it. You know, if you think about students and what they're after and they're learning, they want to bring that to market and there's technology. It's a very, um, it's a, it's a, a segment of population where, you know, it's very abstracted for people. They, they care about students and that and their buyer profiles. They, they're interested in kind of what their likes are. They're the next generation of consumers. And it's a very, it's a very innovative space. And I've seen that be um, very exciting. And I love that our approach to it is to really lean into that innovation, try to be first and to trailblaze. And we've been very effective in it. I mean, pioneering the way, you know, there's been many firsts in the transact bringing things to market. And, um, and I think that's been one of our successes and something that I'm personally very proud of. That's great. And talking about innovation and, you know, looking forward, is there anything that you can share, you know, that may be coming down the line or things that you're excited about for growth wise for Transact? We kind of hit on, um, one of the areas earlier, which is our Transact One platform. And this solution is very exciting because, um, the interactions between our our different solutions are are so native. So because of the platform itself, our ability to provide data and insights and analytics around um, the the profile of the campus is natively. So near real time updates on dashboards and and different um, input that you may want to look at. Additionally, integrations between payments and commerce and ID are, are out of the gate. And so you have, you know, different fun ways that you can offer those up in mobile experiences to end users, or even to the administrators that are supporting that. Um, so we're focusing very much on ensuring that our solutions are easiest to use. I mean, you, you kind of asked me earlier around how pandemic affected, um, higher education in general. And I'd say one of the biggest things that we saw was universities are really trying to do more with potentially less, whether it's less resource, less budget, um, and they are somewhat constrained. And the more that we can provide to them here, we can optimize the workflow. We can help you streamline an operation. 
we can help you with some pain points where you don't need to solve them with more people, but we can help you offer, you know, a easier way to do things. We're very focused on that. And so that Transact One platform is the core of our next gen offering and things that we're doing to help bring that innovation to market. That's great. Well, I'm looking forward to, you know, learning more following Transact as you guys continue to grow and scale. So Rashid, you know, as we as we start to wrap up, where can people go to learn more about Transact? Yeah, so um, transactcampus.com for sure. Um, lots of different things on that web where you can you can get access to demo, you can explore our product offering, our solution. Of course, reaching out to me. You can find me on LinkedIn, uh, Rashid Barusia, and I uh, would happy to be, in it, you know, I can answer any questions and engage with with you all as well. Fantastic. Well, you know, Rashid, as we, like I said, you know, start to wrap up. Anything that you want to leave our listeners with just as one kind of final thought? Yeah, I, I, I would say um, one of the things that has always been very impactful for, for me and 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 I, I tell a lot of my team and, and others is um, having passion and conviction for, for what you're doing has been so impactful. And one of the things that I've enjoyed so much about Transact is, is getting to work in a space that one, I'm personally very passionate about and care so much for, um, and then getting to drive that in new ways in the industry. And so, um, whenever you can find an intersection between those two things, it's a very, um, it's a very great thing to, to be able to provide. So anyway, hopefully that, that's a value. Um, definitely, Kelsey, I, I enjoyed our conversation so much today. This was a great conversation. I really appreciate you talking to me, you know, about the the different kind of solutions, the three different kind of offerings that, that Transact has, the different areas. But I think this was, you know, a very insightful conversation. I'm looking forward to, you know, following you guys as you continue to grow and scale and, and support higher education and, you know, making, you know, the uh, the user experience for, for students as, as efficient as possible. Thank you so much. Yeah, great to have you. Thanks.